Hi guys, so today I'm filming a April favourites new in and empties video. I'm well aware that I've been gone for about two weeks and I'm really sorry. It's just been a really stressful period at work and in my personal life and I just honestly didn't have time to film. It would have been really irresponsible of me to put aside time to film rather than kind of sorting out everything that I was meant to be dealing with. So I'm really sorry about that. Today, let's get into this video. Okay, so I thought it'd make the most sense to start with um, the bits that are new in and then I can talk about uh, my empties and then I'll talk about my favourites. Okay, so one of the first things that was new in is my mini pochette my finger is caught it's so pretty i was really worried about getting the damier bean i think i mentioned that in my unboxing video but i actually actually love it i've used it pretty much every day if i haven't i haven't actually used it by itself as a wristlet yet i'm going to do that this coming weekend but um yeah i've been using it to just put um cosmetics extra bits and bobs in now especially as it's hay fever season season um obviously tissues tablets eye drops etc so this has been really useful okay next not unfamiliar to anyone my tods uh my brand new ones in the red they have scuffed a little bit um which makes me think that actually the wear that you see on my pink ones is not um dirt it's maybe just the kind of the suede wearing out um don't get me wrong i was a bit bummed when i saw that at first but they are so comfortable there is nothing as comfortable as these that i'm kind of just over it and is what it is and you can't really see it when I'm, you, you can't see it when i'm walking so it's not that deep okay so my sister got back from america uh last weekend she goes to uni over there so i did send her a few things through the mail that I couldn't ship to the UK and had her bring them back in her suitcase with her. So they're just two um, products for my handbags in terms of cleaning. And the first one is Cadillac Leather Lotion, which everyone on YouTube goes on about if they are um, cleaning their bags, especially if you've got um, like uh, my Chanel or you've got Louis Vuitton bags. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to condition some of my bags with this and then some apple guard now a few weeks back probably in one of my first videos i kind of hinted that there was a bag that i'd bought um and the purchase hadn't really worked out and i was waiting to see what would happen with that i actually bought a delvo bag from vestiaire and when it arrived it was damaged um so i'd actually purchased these two for that bag because um the inside and the, out, the outside was a bit scuffed um, and the inside was kind of a similar leather to the Louis Vuitton untreated Vachetta leather. So I was going to use this and the leather lotion on that. Um, and then I was also going to use the leather lotion on my Chanel. Um, I mean, I have it. So I'm probably going to spray my pink Tods with this. And then, I mean, it's useful to at least have rain and stain repellent. So... I might let my mum use it on her Louis Vuitton as well, so. Okay, so the next new in bits that I'm gonna show you are um, some of the bits that I picked up from that vintage um, sale that I went to a few weeks back. I did say I was gonna do a vintage video. I realized that there were things that I wanted to do to the pieces when I bought them. That it's just, it's gonna take me too long to do before I make the video. So I do have some more vintage bits coming in. Yeah, hopefully once they are in, I'll be able to do like a longer video because I'm gonna need to do cutaways and try-ons, etc. So I'm just gonna show you some of the stuff that I bought, um, tell you the things that I want to do to it, and then you might start to understand what I'm actually talking about. So the first thing I got, the first few things I got were um, some Ralph Lauren shirts. So also part of the problem is um, some of them I washed straight away. Some of them have been sitting in the laundry because they're colors I don't usually wear. So. It wasn't like I could just stick them in with a load. And then once I'd washed this and then realized that I hadn't washed the other ones, I wore it and then washed it and then wore it again. 
so this is clean now so i've washed it a third time but it's so nice it's this um quite thin but like cottony um ralph lauren shirt quite large um it's in a very light check sorry i haven't ironed these cannot be bothered to iron these so um it's like a beige with a really small white check going through it and then a navy horse and i just love it i've been wearing it especially when it was really hot like on bank holiday monday i was wearing it with some ivory trousers oh ivory trousers and my my lighter suede tods this was so nice and then i wore my louis vuitton ivory alma it was a pretty good outfit so yeah really love this i also picked up a let me make sure this is the right one yeah so a navy one with a red horse and then these two are dirty so i'm gonna pick them up off the floor and then put them back onto the floor <laughs> but um so just a plain blue one with the um ordinary horse the polo player um and then a more turquoisey Sorry, that was caught under the tripod. A more turquoisey um, blue with white pinstripes running through it and an orange horse polo player. So yeah, those. And then I also got um, this Tommy Hilfiger one, which is also navy with this patch. Now I might give some of these to my brother or my sister. I haven't quite decided. Um, they are really big, so my brother's really big he plays american football but um he'll fit into them so that kind of tells you what size they are bearing in mind i'm five two and usually it's like six so they are really big some of them i've worn as like dresses um or you can just tie them i might crop some of them which was the plan when i bought them like this tommy hilfiger one actually has a rip so i'm um just deciding whether i'm gonna let me see whether i can show you that yeah so I'm just deciding whether I'm gonna just stitch it up because it's really not that big of a deal and it's not that noticeable or whether I am gonna just crop the shirt because I did know that I wanted to crop a few because I think they'll look really cute in summer with high-waisted like linen pants or mum jeans. So yeah, I haven't quite decided on that, but those are those. So I also got these Nike joggers. Um, they're actually in like a charcoal gray. They're so comfortable. I haven't owned proper joggers for a few years now um, i've got some cashmere ones which are just lounge wear so it doesn't really count um but these oh makes me remember why i used to live in nike joggers i actually used to have hair almost identical to these um but yeah they've got two side pockets and then a back pocket and these are probably boys ones but to be honest growing up i always had boys ones so like is there really a difference I mean, I know there is now when you get like the Fashion Nova ones and stuff, which are all like high-waisted and whatever, but these are just normal joggers. What I am gonna do though, they fit really nice around my waist because they are quite, um, have quite a high rise. So that's as crotched it. It does have quite a high rise. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna make these into like capri shorts. Um, so I also got a gray, a light gray pair with like a blue tick or something. Maybe it's a white tick, but I'm gonna make both of them into capris, which will be so great because I go hiking by my house in like the Surrey Downs and like, it's fine. I usually wear my Lululemons, which I love. Like they're my favorite leggings of all time. If you have not owned a pair of Lululemon leggings, get yourself to Lululemon and try a pair on because they will change your life. Um, but yeah, I usually wear those when I go hiking, but obviously when it is quite hot outside, that is a lot. I went hiking, I took my friend with me a few weeks ago now, maybe like two weeks ago, and I wore like little denim shorts and they were just so uncomfortable, so impractical that when I went to this, like the next day or the next week or something, I was like, okay, I'm getting shorts <laughs> so that when I go hiking, I actually have something to wear that's comfortable and practical but also cute so yeah and then i might as well finish off showing you shoes um showing you shoes showing you clothes um so i picked up some stuff on bank holiday monday my mum sister and i went to um bond street Bond Street, Regent Street and Oxford Street and we just did a little bit of shopping. So we went into Zara and Banana Republic mainly in terms of High Street and 
I don't usually buy stuff on the high street. Um, I could probably go through my wardrobe and count the things that are from the high street um, besides like basics, like little vests and stuff. Um, but I don't know, I got suckered in. Um, to be fair, so I don't buy from the high street mainly because of where like the supply chain and where things are coming from and the whole idea of fast fashion. But the things that I picked up are really cute. They're really good materials. Um, they're all like 100% natural, like uh, viscose or um, mainly linen. I picked up a lot of linen. So yeah, really cute. Um, they seemingly well made, but also to the point where if they fall apart, I am more than qualified to sew them back together. So yeah. First thing I picked up was this, which actually I thought was a dress and it's not, it's a play suit, which is kind of, well, yeah, it's got these shorts underneath. So that's really helpful. Cause the reason I don't wear dresses is because I don't like my crotch being like open to the world. <laughs> so um, I picked this up. It's really comfortable. It's really cute. It has pockets which i'm so happy about um got this like just ruched kind of elastic bit in the back this tie bit here which you don't really need to undo um because it covers like the bralette bit and it's just really comfortable and cute and easy um i'm trying to work out whether i can style this up and wear this to a birthday party i'm going to next um Friday night, but if not, it will just be the cutest day dress and I feel like I've got makeup on it. I laugh. Moving on from that, I got this cute little two-piece which you probably won't be able to really understand what it looks like, but basically it ties like that and then these are some really, really short shorts. So I purposely sized up two sizes and got myself a medium so that I can fit them around my waist um, and not have my whole bum cheek on show. There's still a little bit of bum cheek going on, but nothing crazy. And to be honest, I picked it up as a bit of a like joke. Like I just wanted to see, cause I don't really wear, I don't show my cleavage like this and I don't wear short shorts, but I put it on and I was like, I have, I have to have this. It's one of those things where I realized that it looks so good on me that if I didn't buy it, in like a few months, in a year, in two years, in three years, in 10 years, I'm gonna think back and be like, that was a really cute short suit that I should have got. Like, is that cute? So I'm meant to be going to Thailand later this year. I would definitely be wearing this, but it's also really good as separate. So this with some high-waisted jeans or some more appropriate shorts or a nice maxi skirt or a midi skirt be super cute and then these because I did get the size up I can also put them around my um hips and I can obviously they'll be longer than and then I can just wear them with like tees or tank tops or anything like that so yeah I'm really happy with that um none of this stuff was cheap by the way um obviously you've seen my luxury collection I'm used to buying expensive things but the play suit was 29.99 the top from the set was £18 and then the shorts were £15. So already that's like 50 quid. Oh well. Um, and then I also got this dress. I bought a lot of dresses. So um, I'm trying to convince myself that I can wear dresses. And this is an off the shoulder dress. Um, it's linen, it buttons up. I might change these buttons. They do look rather cheap. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna change the buttons, but it's just really cute. Again, from Forever 21, it's got pockets, which is always a win. It's this really nice beigey, taupey color, which just looked so good on in the dressing room. Um, I was really surprised actually, cause um, it came in white and I wanted the white one, but the white one, they didn't have my size. So I picked this up just to see for size. Um, and then actually this color looked really nice. So win this is a beautiful denim jacket from weekday i think it was about 50 or 60 ish pounds um i bought it on a whim i was on regent street after work um coming back from north london i had a meeting up there and um 
yeah, I just loved how bleached it is. It probably looks a bit darker on camera than it is, but it's really bleached because my other one is like quite a, quite a light to mid blue. And this one looks really pale in contrast. So I just think it's so summery and it's lighter. So the other one I can wear in winter as long as it's not too cold and I'm really warm in it because it's a really thick and heavy vintage piece um, that I picked up from the men's vintage section in Urban Outfitters on Oxford Street about a year or 18 months ago. But this is just really light. It's almost like the thickness of a chambray shirt um but it still has the inside pockets it's still got um a nice weight to it and it doesn't feel flimsy it feels really like sturdy and well made but it's just beautiful and i wanted something a bit lighter and i loved this bleached denim look so i could not resist i did see it on um online like the day before and then I passed week day and I was like, mm, let's just have a look. And I could not leave it in the dressing room. So yes, love that. Um, first thing I'm gonna show you is I got a new Dior lip gloss. So I usually get this in the baby pink. This is, I think it's called Apricot. It doesn't say on here, but I definitely get 001 and this is 002. I'm pretty sure it's called Apricot. Um, I didn't realize that they do this in House of Fraser now. So I always go up to like Harrods um, to get like this or order it online and was randomly walking into House Fraser and Croydon the other day and they had this so that was really cool um so yeah lip maximizer in a new color which I actually think I prefer this color and then I've got loads of skin care stuff besides this which is a new water bottle I'm trying to um watch like drink more water. So I got this, which I can also take to the gym because I don't have a nice, I don't have a water bottle to take to a gym regardless of whether nice or not. So this is like a bubble make water better bottle and it has a filter. Um, I picked this up from Whole Foods two weeks ago. So yeah, really cool. I mean, it's just a bottle, so yeah, this skincare. This skincare has changed my life. So I have PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome for those of you that don't know. Um, so obviously there are loads of um, factors that that has on your life, but one of the biggest ones that I've suffered with is hormonal acne. And usually I've got my skin to the point where it's okay, it's manageable, but obviously, like I said, it's been really busy at work. I've been quite stressed with things going on in my life. So my skin, just revolted and just decided it was gonna riot and do its own thing and didn't wanna behave. So I bought a ton of skincare, um, some of which I've used similar products or ingredients before, so I knew it would work. I wasn't just shooting in the dark, but this, I, was, I went to buy it a year or so ago and then my skin calmed down, so I kind of just never went and got it. But as soon as my skin flared up again, I was like, I'm buying this. So this is the Eve Loam um, Rescue Mask, which I got off of Colt Beauty. I think I actually got a discount code. Colt Beauty are really good for doing discount codes all the time. So yeah, especially as these are not cheap. So I can't remember what size I got, like whether it's the bigger or the smaller, but I know the two different sizes are over 35 pounds or 50 pounds. So, you know, for a, for a face mask, that is, painful and so i bought this last week so i've had it for about 10 12 days um and it has made the biggest difference you don't use this every day so i've used it probably about four times um and works miracles like i've had really angry um pimples on my face and i've used this left it on for 15 to 20 minutes and literally the next day my skin is like calm and they've gone down drastically so savior skin savior um then i've got five products from the ordinary they're just really specific and really tailored to um the ingredients that are in them so um i've got this buffet which is their multi-technology peptide serum which is just like a good everyday because i was actually running out of my 
Estee Lauder, which is only really for nightwear. So this I can put on twice a day and it's a lot lighter and I feel like it clogs my pores less. So this has been really nice. I've been using it twice a day since Wednesday and hasn't made me break out or anything. So I can see it seep into my skin and my skin just like glows. So this is really good. Um, and then I've also got this niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1%. And I knew this was gonna work for me because I last year had a like sleeping mask. I think it was from like Mizome, like a Korean skincare brand, which its main ingredient was niacinamide and it did wonders. Um, and then also when I was at uni, I remember I ordered this um, cream that had zinc in it and that also helped my hormonal acne a lot. So I got this because it's the two together, but it's not got any of the other stuff in it, which is why I didn't repurchase the other products. And so yeah, I also bought um, this ascorbic acid 8% with Arbutin Ar Ar 2%. And this is basically a vitamin C serum, which are meant to be so good for you. Um, but the reason I don't use um, the niacinamide at night is because I use this one at night because vitamin C makes your skin really sensitive to um, the sun. And for all of my people of color who are watching right now, firstly, you should be wearing SPF every day, which I know is a myth. People are like, but I've got melanin, so I don't need SPF. And I bought into that lie for like 22 years of my life. But um, yes, we need to wear SPF every day, which unfortunately I have learned the hard way. And so I have this at night and it's also meant to make your SPF more effective. And then I put my um, SPF on in the morning, but yeah vitamin c it's i mean everyone knows vitamin c is good for you anyway when we take it orally or through food or drinks or whatever so it's really good for your skin and then the alpha arbutin i've got loads of hyperpigmentation so that should help to lighten my scars which it has already started to do so really happy with this one as well okay and the next two are really really concentrated products I jumped straight into the deep end and got the strongest strength that they had just because I've had acne treatments in the past so I know what my skin can handle if you are new to these kind of treatments or skincare definitely talk to one of the assistants at the store I went to London Covent Garden and um kind of start with a lower percentage and then work your way up but i got the gran active retinoid five percent in squalane and then the alpha lipoic acid five percent um now this is a retinoid um the gran active retinoid um which is a very strong acne treatment and if you go to the doctor and you've kind of tried everything else they'll usually put you on some course of retinoids um, it does have loads of contradictions, um, contraindications. Um, so you need to be very upfront if anyone asks you what you are using because there are certain things that you can't take or use when you are on these. Um, but my skin was just at the point where I'm like, I can't be bothered to keep having these outbreaks and then like take three weeks to recover. So I'm just going back on this. And this is a really gentle one. Um, so yeah yeah um these are in uh, plus the vitamin c are in uh dark bottles because they're not meant to be exposed to sunlight because that will um make the product less def less effective so i keep these in a drawer um with the other bits of my skincare anyway because easier and then this is the alpha lipoic acid, 5%. And it says a concentrated serum to brighten and to target sides of age. Obviously I'm 23, so I'm not really worrying about aging, but because I have texture from acne scars, um, it does help with that. Um, it doesn't look like I've used much. I've used this at least, I wanna say like three times. I use about three drops each time. I just put a drop in the center of my face, drop on each cheek, and then I rub it in um, or pat it in. Um, and yeah, it's been really good. It did have a slight, this is the only one where I could feel a slight um, heat and tingle when I put it on. Um, but that was like literally the first, maybe second time and then I didn't feel it again. So my skin's already used to this one. And now I am done with new in. Yes, and we can move on to favorites. No, empties empties let's do empties so um i have finished almost finished 
um, my Beredo Rose of No Man's Land, which is like my favorite perfume. I love, well, I actually, that's a lie. I don't usually like rose perfumes. Mm. And I don't usually like floral perfumes, but this, it's a rose, but it's mixed with, let me get this right, blackberry, blackberry, and it just smells so good. I picked this up when I went to Belgium last year, and I did get the bigger one, the 100 mil, which cost me, I paid more in Belgium than you would pay here, but it cost me about 170 euro. Um, I think over here they're like 140. I'm debating whether I want to repurchase um, just because I didn't really wear this in winter just because it's not really a winter scent in which case I kind of need to get two perfumes and then that's reaching like 300 pounds which I don't want to pay 300 pounds for perfume <laughs> so um, I don't know it's so nice but I don't know. There's um there's a perfume from Louis Vuitton called Matier Noir, and I've been you I've been going through samples of that like water, and that's one hundred and eighty pounds. But then every time you refill, I think it's ninety pounds rather than buying a new fragrance, and that works out more cost effective. But and I could wear that all year round. I do love this. I might buy the Louis Vuitton one and then put this on my Christmas list. But it's so nice but yeah this is pretty much empty so it sucks this wasn't empty but i've repurchased oh and i've gone through this already this is the problem i share with people and now i'm already down and this is not cheap this is like eight pounds it's hand sanitizer i use it every day especially when you're taking public transport like getting on public transport i try my best not to touch anything but as soon as you do i'm like where is my hand sanitizer? In my head, I'm like visually visualizing where my hand sanitizer is and exactly how and when I'm gonna get it out to put it on my hands. Um, this is the Aesop Resurrection Rinse Free Hand Wash. By the way, I get most of this stuff at Liberty, so it looks like I'm spending a lot of money, which I am, but Liberty Rewards Scheme is so good. I usually get like anywhere from 20 to 50 pounds back every like few months, so you know. And then I just go and spend that on more. So I know I've got a voucher coming soon, actually. So I might just wait to repurchase. No, I can't wait to repurchase. I'll just buy loads at the time. Because this is so good. In fact, I think I've got a little bit left in my old bowl. So I might I might be able to get by by just topping this one up. And hopefully that will be fine. Um, and then this is also nearly empty. I've only got three bags left. This is yerba mate tea. If you've never had yerba mate, it's so good. I love tea. So if you don't love tea, this is not gonna be for you. But this is like a type of green tea from South America. I think this one's particularly from Argentina and it is just so yum. Um, it says, drink to help maintain a healthy weight and for its stimulating properties it tastes a little like smoky green tea i had no idea that it had it helped you slim down i haven't noticed that if i'm being honest because i've been drinking this for years but um so good um i do know that it's like a really good form of green tea so it does make me feel really awake and yeah love these so i need to repurchase because i go through these at work all the time and then I guess we're moving on to favorites. So on the same theme as my Beredo perfume, this is my Bai um, Rim Spray from Diptyque. I'm not gonna spray it on myself, but. Oh, if you've never smelt this before, I don't know what you've been doing, but this is so good. So usually in um, winter I use, I've got, the Ombre, which is the Amber, and then the Faux de Bois, which is firewood. And so I usually use them layered in my room um, in like winter months, but now it's back to spring, summer. I can use this one and it just smells so fresh and yum and just, oh, it's so nice. It's so funny that um, most people that come into my room, they see all three and they're like, do you need all three of these? And they try to steal one, but they are so good and I like layering them 
this layered with faux de bois actually is really nice. Um, in fact, all of them layered in different combinations are quite nice. So that's why I have three. Um, these aren't cheap. I think they're like 20, 30 quid. So me having three is a bit ridiculous, but I bought them with a Liberties voucher. So I basically paid nothing for them. So love these. <laughs> um and then favorites 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 oh my gosh best hand cream ever if you have an holland and barrett near you go get this um i think they do three for two a lot of the time so i bought three and my mum and dad managed to nick one each and yeah now my mum actually has switched from coconut oil pure coconut oil and uses this all the time she bought the big one and it's just so good it's um dr organic bioactive organic aloe vera skin lotion um it's just it says restoring skin moisturizer and it's just so it's not sticky but it is nice and heavy and moisturizing and rich and it's just so so good i love it um also been loving these water wipes that my mum found i think she found them in morrison's but they're not by morrison's she said she saw loads of people on youtube using these but they basically are just water they're literally ingredients water 99.9 percent .9 and then grapefruit seed extract is 0.1 percent um and they're just so good they're so gentle um they're really really wet um probably the wettest baby wipes i have ever tried in my life like you can actually when you pull them out you can actually see water drops on your hands so yeah they're really good really good i've been through about four packs of these now and it's been like i just use them for everything <laughs> everything i use them for everything and now people at work have started to realize that i carry these everywhere i have one in my desk and i have one in my handbag and now it's like oh, yes do you have a baby wipe and these have gone down very quickly very quickly um and then another favorite which i cannot go anywhere without because i am a grease monkey is my mac prep and prime don't you just feel so fresh after you spray it it's like the best thing the world, especially as it makes you realize how hot your face was because that cooling feeling it's like oh i needed that especially when you're out in the hot sun and then you put that on it's like hallelujah speaking of i actually have to get to church <laughs> we're like half an hour late so i think i've got three more things left and then we are done with this video otherwise my sister is gonna kill me because i promised her we'd go to church and then we're going out after so i've got three books all of which are brilliant two of which i have read before but i've reread one of which i am still about halfway through even though i got it last summer which is awful it's a great book which is otherwise i wouldn't put it in this video it's just really meaty and having done an english degree and really focusing on women like female representations in literature and also um representations of race in literature this is written by um a let me get this right i don't want to get this wrong oh where's it set i don't want to say the wrong african country it is set in gosh Zimbabwe Zimbabwean um author and it's so good it's so interesting it gripped me from the beginning which is why I need to dedicate some time to read this so I can't just rush it it's so so good and there's there's so much imagery in every line that I just which is why it's taking me a bit longer which is why I've been able to get through these which are brilliant but you don't have to focus on every word in quite the same way but this is so good especially if you're a black woman especially if you're a black woman that um has parents from or grandparents from um the african continent this the themes and messages in this book are just crazy so this is so good so good nervous conditions by sitsi dangaramba um so good and then I've got The Vegetarian by Han Kang. Um, this won the Man Booker Prize in 2016. I'm a vegan, so I was kind of um, interested. I was not prepared for how twisted this book was gonna be, which is like right up my street. I love twisted 
um, books. If I just review the tagline up top, it says a beautiful, unsettling novel in three acts about rebellion and taboo, violence and eroticism, and the twisting metamorphosis of a soul. And this is actually about a vegetarian, um, but it's so deep. It's so good. Um, so yeah, The Vegetarian by Han Kang. And then final book and final piece of this video, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie's Americana. It's so good. I've read snippets to people and they're like, well, what book is that? And they, I know they've gone to get it. It's so, so good. It's hilarious. It's witty. Again, if you're a black woman who's from, a di in fact, forget being black. If you're a woman um, whose parents or you yourself or your grandparents are immigrants and you've kind of got that kind of understanding, this you're gonna see this in a way that other people won't, um, but it's brilliant for everyone to read. It's really eye-opening. It's really hilarious and witty, and it just makes you smile. I love this book. So she's an amazing writer, and she has such great, such a great voice, regardless of whether it's on the page or in person, um, and you can feel her presence when you're re reading this. So I really like this. Um, yeah, um, I mean, it's about a Nigerian woman. I'm not Nigerian, so it is relatable, but beautiful, beautiful book. And that is it for this video. Really sorry that's taken me so long to post. Love you all deeply and thank you for supporting. Please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you again soon. Bye guys. Okay.